So, horizontal gene transfer is uh, where the genes are transferred uh, at the same level. So, two organisms they, they sh uh, transfer their genes. Um, it is not like the transferring the genes from top to bottom like vertical transfers uh, where the genes are transferred they, for example from parents to the offsprings. So, relatively it is a slow process in evolution. Here in this chart, uh, we have the length of coding sequences and the proportions which are coming from foreign elements and which are native. So, gray are the native ones and black ones are the coming from some foreign sources. So, that is the indication of the horizontal gene transfer. So, we can see here that mostly in E. coli K12, there is the biggest foreign genes, then Synecococcus cystis it's also have huge proportion of those foreign genes. Here is the, a, another case in which there is a, a comparative map of two genomes from E. coli 0157H7 and then K12. So, we see here that there are about 1400 genes present in H7 which are not present in K12. Same way there are 500 genes in K12 which are present in K12 but not present in H7. In this circular arrangement, we see that red color, they indicate the genes present in H7 but not in K12s and then greens are the ones which are conserved in both the organisms. So, here is another example in which we see the horizontal gene transfer in eukaryotes. So, we have different plants. So, they have hormone synthase gene that is suspected to be coming from bacteria, aphids, insects, so they have carotenoids, the origin may be fungal, sturgeons, they have some 15 genes which are coming from trematodes, sea slug that has a PSOB which actually encodes a nuclear factor, the source is some alga. So, horizontal gene uh, transfer is the transfer between different organisms that is a relatively slow process and that leads to acquisition of new traits. So, it is at the same level. So organisms, uh, they, they transfer those genes uh, from one to another.